like the only thing I ever wanted to do. There's, I don't ever remember there being another option for me or something. It was just always something that I wanted to do. And I guess because I had someone so close to me doing it, it was like a really obvious choice. I think for other people, if their parents aren't musical or whatever, they kind of go, oh, maybe I can't make a career out of that. But my dad like made and, and still does a career out of it. So for me, I was like, well, I can do that. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I was just silly enough to think that it would be easy. <laughs> so left here. Being in the studio would be what I would do after school. Yeah, it was just such a natural thing. This is what I take to my gigs at the moment. Um, stupidly didn't bring a backpack. So I've got the house party CDs at the moment, which Triple J gave to me. So I've got two of them. I've got some like KLP t-shirts to throw out <laughs> at people um, if I think they're dancing enough. Um, I have a hard drive which kind of has like everything and all styles of music, anything you could possibly ever want to play, just in case. Not that I ever really use that. And then in here I have um, heaps of USBs. So. I've got like one with visuals if that's usable. I've got my like go to KLP ones, just some different like headphone adapters, more backup USBs. <laughs> I have lots of them just in case because you know you never know when you're going to leave them. How does that kind of collaboration process typically work for you? Do you reach out to them or...? Like it's mainly, um, I don't know, it's all on the internet pretty much. Uh, so Twitter or um, like What's So Not, for example, was years ago um, before Flume was Flume and, you know, What's So Not or What's So Not. Um, and then uh, Young Franco. Yeah, I don't know, all really organically, but generally not in the same room at the one time. <laughs> Triple J was a totally different thing, but I've always performed. I was like in a pop group when I was um, 14, signed to Sony. So I've always performed. So when I was doing that, we kind of toured Australia and we did all the TV shows and we did solos at Carol's in the Domain in Sydney to like millions of people. So. I think the struggle for me was like finding the music that I wanted to do. And I guess almost a second win because I've already had that as a teenager. So, you know, when I was 20, it was almost like that whole career path was over. So I got to 20 and yeah, then I just partied heaps. <laughs> The DJ sets, it's way clubbier than House Party because House Party I've got to have hip hop and rock and everything and I definitely don't play that in my um, DJ sets. Um, yeah, whereas if it's just a DJ set, it's like straight house music, I guess, or like club, club music. Obviously each week I get told the tracks that are added to um, Triple J and I, you know, try and include as many of them as I can that kind of fit into the house party vibe. Then beyond that, it's kind of just whatever I want. So like, obviously I, I try and put in lots of house tunes um, and they're the ones that kind of cross over into my sets as well. Career mo role model. At the moment, a real obvious one would be Sia because she's able to kind of do multiple things, which I think for a long time people struggled to deal with. It was either you're a writer or you're an artist, you know, and constantly for me it's like, are oh, you a DJ? Are you an artist? Are you a writer? And I kind of do all of them. So I think it's cool that she can do, you know, a variety of things and a variety of styles, you know, she writes pop music, she writes serious oh, music. I just really want to put out um, my own music because it's done. I'm just playing the waiting game, just waiting for labels and stuff like that so it's you know it's coming down to countdown and it's very hard to not let it
consume you yeah. and get frustrated when you have it and you think, Unless man. You, you create something great, you want everyone to hear it and then you have to wait. <laughs> I know, it's just like, what would happen if I just put it up on SoundCloud? <laughs> so, yeah, that's the most immediate thing that I really want to do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>